better? Yes. Yep. Okay, so we're going to test the meter right now with our phones and okay, cameras. So here's my phone. Just nothing. Yep, nothing on there. Okay. Nothing's doing. My phone's not setting it off. Okay, my Anybody phone. I'll just I'll just put my phone on airplane mode. Nothing. Do you mind if I bring it, this? It one made it yes. barely move. Right. I don't want to mess up. It may yeah, not now be my phone. We'll see. Anything? Okay, it's just, just nope. No. Not much. Not much. I mean, not much. Yeah. That's so you can see okay, that our so camera, our phones are not setting this off. Yep. They're not. Okay, now it's going now crazy. Now it is. Well, that was you had a few of them there. So. Yeah. But, okay, and now it's going back down. But in this area, that's what we're. Yeah, we are. We're yeah. getting. Okay. Zero. For okay. Three, With, seven. Without holding that next to it. I'm pointing that out. No. Okay, so th these probably made it do a little bit there. Which one, do you think? I'm not sure. The um, thermal? No. Then maybe your camera. It's not the... It didn't do nothing that time. camera didn't? No, not the camera either. I'm doing all of them together. <laughs> Even my GoPro close, it's still 0 .003. Okay, so I keep going in and out and checking. It went up to 0 0.053 and went back down. But not. I don't think that's my major. stuff. My stuff's not making it move. No major readings. No, what, uh, no, nothing major. What do you consider a major reading? When it goes up to like 17 point something okay. and then. Uh, it's gone up so to we're not 48. Talking, we're not talking those fractional readings. That no, no, no. no. 48 yeah, okay. point yeah. blah, 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 blah. We've even gotten it up to like, It'll go like up 80 to, or 90. Okay. Yeah. And it'll even do maxed out. So it even, even with maxed multiple cameras, like we're all yeah. around it. All of them, all of us are close and to it's, it. Yeah. It's Nothing. Yeah, What's minimal. Yeah, very minimal. Minimal. Yeah. But what we're getting out here is major fluctuations. Yeah. Okay. Major. Yeah. More than your microwave puts out at your house. Okay. I've tested it at home. Okay. So he's testing anything? his camera right now. Mm -hmm. no. Is it doing anything? Point zero zero seven zero. That's what these meters are actually for. Bit, They're for people yeah, testing maybe. at their houses. Yeah. yeah. Testing for electrical currents and radio Any frequency. Leaks in the house. Yeah, yeah. Stuff that would cause health problems over time. Because it heats up it heats up your body tissue and makes friction and it'll start causing cancer. And there's there's things you can do at your home to prevent that. You can fix have your wiring fixed. Mm -hmm. If you're getting yeah. readings, you can have your wiring fixed. You can move your Wi Fi routers. There's different ways you can put shielding up around stuff so it's not not hitting you all the time, mm -hmm. not hitting you with high the high radiation, okay. the high electrical currents. Um, so I watch paranormal TV. Yes. All the time. Not the channel paranormal, TV, but shows like that, like mm -hmm. Ghost Hunters. I was hooked of course. on me too. I the love, original. I love that. So they used to carry it through, and they would measure you know, whatever. EMF. It, EMF fields in. in is that what we're talking about? Yep. Is that the same thing? No. 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 Two different no. things. That's okay. different, yeah. This right. is radio frequency, yeah. RF. This is only electrical currents. Okay. The ghost hunters. So this use. is just an RF meter? No. Yeah. It can measure all of it. Oh, okay. It's It'll got different settings. Okay. It'll, It'll measure, measure electric and magnetic electric, which is from the wiring in your house or from power lines. And okay. then the, the RF is from your from your Wi-Fi or your um, the cell phone towers things like that your the, microwave the reason I was asking was if you're you're having experiences out here and I was thinking you know ghost hunters and how their meter goes off and mm -hmm. how whatever it is that they're looking at can affect people's perception yeah you know, those are oh, dizziness and also yeah. the perception of, of ghosts and what have you I yeah. just yes. wanted to see if that's what we're talking about those are different kinds of meters yeah those are different kinds of meters yeah those are different kinds of meters you're too short for my tripod. <laughs> <laughs> so this is RF. This mm -hmm. is not EMF. Okay. And normally, ghost investigators, they're Using measuring EMF, EMF okay. yeah. readings. So awesome. And cool. what we're doing is um, when we're stopping and looking at footprints, all of a sudden the meter will start going off, giving us real high readings. We'll go to tree structures. We'll be standing there looking at tree structures, um, investigating them, and the meter will start going off, giving us real high readings. And they'll be higher than a microwave puts off.
Okay. Like a few weeks yeah. ago, I found the X yeah. over here, mm -hmm. and we went up to the X. Yeah. It was just going crazy. And it crazy. was going off. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, let's find let's go find some footprints. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take you to a structure that we found a while back. Where we got the reading. Yeah, that's where we were. Do you want to go over there? That's a busy area. Yeah, we can go over here you first. Want to go to the X? There's a yeah, and, and right. is that all right? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on right here in this area. We've even uh, we found a footprint right in here before too that that we took a cast of. To me, it didn't look like a boot print. Okay. It, it, but it was a, like a, a little bit of a slide when it stepped. It was a slide. Okay. But it was the only it was the only print in the trail. It was like in the middle of this trail, and it was only the one. So we took a cast of it just to cast it and have it. But uh, there's there's a animal trail going through here, and I get a lot of deer right through here on the game camera. But we have a lot of bows and brakes and all kinds of stuff right here in this little area. And yeah. nothing's eaten though. It's just no. A, no. No. Just a whole apple. Yeah. yeah. So this is what I found two weeks ago, and we, when we found but, it, yeah, look. Yeah, so the meter's spiking right now. The meter's spiking. All right, see how that? Yeah. That's odd. And see, it was doing that with just one Ed and Marie right, right there. Over here, it's back down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, But I did see the yeah. numbers going yeah. oh, yeah, back you did. down yeah. as I came. Hopefully that's caught on camera. I'm pretty sure you got it. Yeah. So it was going, it was going like 48, 0, 78, 3. It was just going crazy. Yeah, it was going high. Um, can I ask a weird question? Go ahead. Have you guys ever tried to intend the meter up? Intend? No. <laughs> like sit and think about it and see what happens? Oh, no, we haven't done that, no. no that would be a good test to try. I know that sounds try. odd, right? Especially if I'm out here, like, you know, trying to disprove or prove, mm -hmm. that, trying to figure it out, and then I bring up weird stuff like that. Because I believe there's something to intention. I just don't know. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work all the time, but yes, I, I totally agree with intention. Sure. Yeah, and see, I, I like getting can, questions like that because then it makes us do more research. It makes us test things. I'm right? not sure how you'd make radio frequencies, but well, you, all you, you don't. I don't think you. I know. Here comes the crazy in me. Okay, <laughs> stand back, everyone. I don't think you have to have an understanding of the right. meter and what it picks up. Mm -hmm. I think with intention, you could just say, you know, make those numbers go up. Not that. I'm saying that's what it is. I'm just asking that question mm -hmm. because we're already in a, a place. Oh, yeah, it bounced around. But we can be talking about the subject. And it'll and, yeah, and it won't we'll be out there in the road or something. And I'm just showing where just everybody is here too. Because when that Marie were standing there at the we ever got at the X when, when it we started going off. Yeah. It went up. It maxed. It maxed out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which mm -hmm. is. Talk about crazy, right? <laughs> Note to self, Max. You gotta ask them yeah. questions about that when we sit down. One thing we did recently too, and I did a video on it. Um, we went to a place that's, that has been reported to be a portal. Let me let me spin. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Don't get dizzy. So we went to this one area that's supposedly a portal that other people have been to and tried things with their meters. Um, I put a link on my video too to David Sedoti because he did a video there, uh -huh. and they tried a different kind of meter, testing electrical yeah. there. So I, I put that on my link too to my video. But so we're there. Um, Desi and Wynette set the meter up against the the lone pine tree there. Yeah. The meter was not going off at all. No readings on it, but it was fluctuating. Like the the numbers were like fading in and out. Constantly, just like fading sizzling. in and out. Yeah. yeah. Like it was like shaking. Like yeah. you, you can shake it. Yeah. You know, just like there was some back. type of energy there. Okay. But it, it wasn't an electrical current because it wasn't affecting the meter now. Okay. Can I ask the question of any power lines that go through here? No. 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 Any underground services like out to old campgrounds or homesteads? There's no electricity. Okay. No, okay. there's not. No. All right. Just 
And the only thing I could think of that any kind of energy here would be the underground aquifer running through here to this area. Is there a ley line that goes through here? I ha haven't seen one. Desi's been I trying been to look too. Find one on a map. Desi hasn't it's been able to find them either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think there's one that runs between here and Ocala, but I'm not sure how close. There's another place we're okay. sightings. Okay. Ocala, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's great, great. Place. Mm hmm uh, Anyway, right. so this area has a bunch of. Breaks, little bends, which is really, it's really kind of odd. Mm -hmm. But this is new. This is from like, this was not here prior to two weeks ago. Okay, and that goes up and into that tree and all the vines. Um, are we connected down here? Oops. I should look at the camera so I know where it's going. That looks like it's. it's yeah, it's it looks like it's rooted in down there. Yeah. 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 So everything's stuck. <laughs> like monopod. So that's oh, it's not rooted in. It's yeah. not rooted in, it's and in. I don't see another. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Always look behind yeah. you, kids. But see how it's pretty fresh. The break. Yeah, that's that is same thickness, that. same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When did you notice this? Um, Two weeks ago. Yeah, a couple Two weeks, weeks ago. ago. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And how many times have you been through here before that? We've been in here a couple of times before that, yeah. And this is pretty easily spotted. It is, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Cause I had a game camera right in this area too. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Am I boring you? Oh, speaking of which, if you want, I, I got another video I'm fixing to put out too from my game camera. I had a game camera sitting up in here. Yep. So the first video at night, there's a nice buck walking through. Mm -hmm. And he goes off to the left where you can't see him. There's this big round fog lifts up and, and going out and up like it's following him. Is it a white fog? It's like there any a white to... fog. Okay. Somewhere. It was, so yeah, it this was is odd. We're, we're, we're telling stories, right? I we're shut the camera moving. off. We're not yeah. moving. We just kind of, you know, because mm -hmm. we're Bigfooters. There and that's how mean. we learn from each other is you tell the story. And um, the, the meter started going up, and now it's on its way back down. Now that we're focused on it once again. Yeah. That's weird. That's mm -hmm. weird. But we're just standing here, not even moving. And... Yeah. Yeah, and it started spiking in. And I have to say that my dad is going to have friggin' biceps. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting them. <laughs> She's been Held holding up. up for 20 minutes now. Yeah. Yeah. It's really not that heavy. No. It's not heavy at all. Really. All right. Yeah. So you can get closer now. Yeah, you can get closer now. Oh yeah, look at over. Anything on that? Why not? Why not? No. <clears throat> so that first time we found this, we came in here and filmed, and I had the meter on my backpack, and I took it off and set it down back here. Mm -hmm. And I walked up in the water. I walked up to it, and the meter was going off like crazy. Oh, there it goes. Well, the trifle's back here. Too. There's a trifle. She, okay. Oh, it's right here. All right, you're gonna okay. Where Let's is see. It? There it is. Wait. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're getting. As soon as you went out in the water, the reading, I was like, it's, it's like it knows closer, you're in the water. The closer you get to it, the more it's going off. Five, eight, six. About six five, four. Yeah, it's pretty active right now. Do you want you want because me Tim to fall over the bag? Hmm? You want me to fall him out with the bag and see if he's yeah. going off? Yeah. Okay, he's getting near the structure. Desi, Desi had picked up my backpack and was moving the meter around a little bit to see if it affected any. Mm -hmm. And we were getting, uh, it was maxing out, it was, we were getting real high readings. It kept maxing out and hitting the the dash one dashes that was over its range, what it can read. Yeah. Mr. Engineer. Not doing anything. Water, uh, sorry, I'm bad with names. Give me your name. Troy. Troy, sorry. Don't know. Bad um, names, water connects bad. energy. Right, I mean, uh, uh, conductive, it can be conductive. conductive. There we go. You get salt in here, it can be right. conductive. We can produce it. It's just stay on. Like energy well, with yeah. water is what I'm saying. Yep. Yeah. Does it have any, there's water in batteries. <laughs> It's a stretch. Mm -hmm. It's a stretch. I think it's a stretch. Right. I'm just trying to figure And I don't out. have enough experience or knowledge with the flow of water because maybe the flow through certain minerals might generate something else as okay. well. Right. You, don't, you don't know. What kind of minerals are in the ground around here? We don't, there's no, like, I keep hearing about mines, but I don't know what they're mining around. Well, I know there's limestone. Yeah, there's yeah. limestone. Yeah, usually there's limestone that they mine for that okay. too around here. Um, and you'll see the limestone rocks not, sometimes. I don't know if any. There's a mine over in Hillsboro. Yeah, on yeah. The way here. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no, no mine around here. No, not around no. here. No. Now, what no. kind of reading did you say from this one, Tim? This one, it was it was maxing out. It was okay. it was going all the way up, and it was where it kept reading the dash one dashes. But it's not doing anything right now. Nothing. Yeah, nothing at all now. Yeah. Yeah, because Max connects here. Yeah. I'm an energy, I'm an energy sucker. <laughs> but when it, when I was up there next to it, I touched it. I touched the tree structure, and then the reading started going back down. Um. See if my path sets that up. Middle middle of the path. Walk up close oh, to the map. Oh. If you don't mind. No, point zero zero two. Point zero zero two. Yeah. I just, this is gonna sound weird, but I have a bunch of quartz in my backpack. Okay. You carrying quartz on you? To leave his gifts? Or are you doing experiments with them? I don't know. I I, I brought them to the green swamp last time, mm -hmm. and I really whoops. Cypress knees, cedar knees, cypress. Cypress, cypress, cypress knees. knees. I call them knee knockers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <knee> knockers. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More than so I, I brought them to the swamp mm -hmm. last time and really got nothing. I was leaving them with the gifting and all that. Um, I think I'm gonna try them. If we're talking about energy, then we're probably talking about frequency. And if these things really conducted, I thought I would just see. Yeah. At some point, I was gonna spring that on you. That was a knock back there. I heard yeah. that. Yeah, but heard the wind that. picked up. So yeah, it could have been the wind. Yeah. yeah, it could have been. Yeah. No, yeah. sure. Isn't. Our team member Dave found that. Stay minimal. But I was also a couple years ago at Ghost Ghosty State Forest, more northern Florida, found a huge TP structure right there in the middle of a swamp where you could not so get. I'm filming to all it. around here too with the thermal camera. So mm -hmm. to see this. So I can show that in, that video too sure. from the thermal I've seen this kind footage. Of thing. On, on a bigger scale, but I mean, you've got tree fall going on, but then you've got woven branches. Yeah. And that's the suspicious part. Yeah. Okay. Show and tell, Max. Mm -hmm. Show and tell. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. You got it. I, uh, come on up to, uh, to what? Natural Forest. 
White Mountain National Forest in New Hampshire. So okay, I got both cameras Betty together. And Barney. Mm -hmm. well, yep. that was That's where it was? Right? Yep. I got the thermal right. and the camcorder together. Film. Yeah. Yeah, take all you want, Troy, yeah. Yeah. With my bright red eye. Yeah. <laughs> Stills or video? Okay. No, I don't feel it, no. Oh, I take a million of them. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. For sure. Okay. Ready? Yeah, you were right. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah. There's all kinds of other stuff. Well, come here. Look at the meter still nominal. Okay. Anything with the meter? Nope. Staying on to there's another ground. And you saw it going horizontal. Yeah. With on an arc. his Yeah, with an arc. We didn't see it at the time. Yeah. It and it hit my right. backpack. You saw it on his captured it on your uh, camcorder. I called on the yeah, the night vision camcorder. So I was sitting right about here. Yeah, so we're sitting along here. I was sitting right about here. And it came from where Wynette is. It came across and arched down and hit my backpack, which was sitting right here. Um, How big? It didn't look real big, just something maybe that size. Yeah, I think I, I thought I found it last time. I think it was a stick that was about this big. Dave actually took us, slowed it down, took a screenshot of it. And it looks like a small stick about that big or, or a bone, it's either a stick or a bone. Yeah. And it came straight. A, it came straight. It, it didn't, it wasn't twirling. Mm -hmm. It just came straight and, and you can hear it hit my backpack. We were out in kayaks yesterday, two days ago. Maybe three now, I don't know. It all blends together. And we had gone way upstream. And we, I was with Tactical okay. Bigfoot, that Mike guy. Yeah, Mike, okay. And Matt and uh, Ron, and I'm sitting in the middle of this wide part of the river, and all of a sudden I feel boom, and I look down, there's this little stick broken on both ends, this big, on yeah. my lap. Uh -huh. On your and, lap. And I was like, Mike? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, did you see anything? He's like, what do you mean? And I picked up the stick on my lap. I said, this just hit me. There were other trees of the same wood around, we didn't see right. the arch, but... You just felt yep. it. You don't know which direction I, I it hit. came Looked from. Down, yeah. Look, when I was sitting right here the other night. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so see, this proves to me. See where the can is? Uh-huh. Marie, see where the can is? Yes. 
the two pine trees. Yeah. Okay, in between the two pine trees, about eight foot tall. I got the eye shine the other night, and I was trying okay. to I was trying to look and make sure it wasn't the sky behind yeah, the trees. The sky behind there. Right. And when I was looking at my thermal video, I could tell there's no sky behind the trees back there. Hmm. So I got the eye shine about eight foot up. I didn't know. And they're wide across. Well, he didn't know it either until well, yesterday. I've seen it, but I, I need to go back in and really look at it and good. And it was a new moon. It was a new moon, yeah. yeah. It just and it had went down. It was like, yeah. It had and went it was down way already. Over there, the moon was, yeah. It was way over there. Yeah. And you could see a spider. Like you could see a couple spiders down on the ground. But that was up high, and it was what they were wide apart, probably wider than our eyes. And it was right in between the two pine trees. Now. That's right behind also that can. The spot right there where we heard the two claps. Yeah. Right next to them. They were yeah. I was right here. here. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll do a read. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her and Tim this were what I heard. I heard. I was standing talking in here and I heard. And I looked down because but it, was like, it sounded like it came from the ground. Yeah. It was like, not like a clap. Like a, it was like a clap wearing like mittens. This. It sounded like two loud claps. It was like two claps. Real loud. Yeah. But yeah. it sounded like it was in the ground, in yeah. on the ground. I was waiting for something to jump up. There's some areas here where something could easily have been over here. Oh, sure. I don't see anything. What the heck? What was that? And um, we were over here and we all heard it. And I caught that on we my GoPro video. Here. And her and um, Tim over yeah. there and she's like what the hell yeah i thought it was like, either yeah, one that or that. dizzy she was that right next to crazy yeah daytime yeah you can hear it and you can see when that looked down and say what was that because that's where it sounded like that's where it, i mm -hmm. heard it come from mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy hard. you wish your elbow bent the other way <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, 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 yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> here move it out okay No, we don't we don't claim they're bigfoot hares. Right. Because I don't really know what they are. But you know, I've I've collected all the other animal hares and I can I've done videos before where I've looked at looked at all of them. Yeah. And uh, I show these. I don't I don't show many people showing hares. Well, what um what makes you think that they're different from the other hares? What was it that you know? Well he's got hair that he could compare it to. Yeah, yeah. So he knows Deer hair, he knows what's hog hair. And then they're camouflage colored, hair. and there's, there's a lot of clear when in them. When you say clam camouflage colors, are we talking camouflage I'm, I'm talking like coyote camouflage muted. colors? I'm or? talking like green, green, tans, browns. Like this? Blacks. Like it would yeah. be yeah. like okay. Almost these like this colors stuff here. right here? Yeah. Very muted. Yeah. Very muted And then the color. ends of them, the ends of them, they're not really split ends, so they just divide real wicked looking. Okay. For yeah. the, um. All right. Different, different than the hog hairs. The the hog hairs split a little bit too, but they're like real rough and rugged. But these these like divide off real wicked looking. All right, wait. Yeah. And finds clear hairs too. And this is this is actual what you found. What I found. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He and I videotape myself collecting them with gloves and everything. So clear hair. It, there's tons of things with clear hair, clear hair in this world. Yeah, I think uh, some of our, like even our gray hairs show up clear. Our, our gray hairs, and mm -hmm. they don't, generally speaking, don't have a medulla. Yeah, um, yeah. If you pluck a hair off an Icelandic person, they don't have a medulla. You know those bleak blonde Icelandic? Yeah, uh-huh. Um, okay. So, and... Yeah, there's some here that are either, uh, those might be deer hairs. Clear and hog. 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 Clear and hog.
There's some more here. Those those have to be deer, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure those are deer. Hang on a minute, hold this. I got some chapstick on. I can only do so much with all this going on. I like that uh, toy taking pictures like this. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's cool, like National mm -hmm. Geographic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They haven't bought on to the hollow hair, making them invisible. They clear hair. But, only because none of the animals will also have it, just a But, maybe if it turns sideways, it does camouflage. It has yeah, but, camouflage yeah. qualities to it. Yeah, but it. so does a yeah. deer, so does a fox, mm -hmm. so does a wolf. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and basing yeah. it on, you go don't be offended by this, but when we base it on right? half-assed yeah. pseudoscience, well, we don't get anything. Like we're being... Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, That's a good thing. I'm cool with that from the graphic. You guys are doing that. I'm saying that's a big problem with I had a suspicion that this was pointed at that house that's over there. An alligator? Yeah. See? There's an alligator. What is it? I don't know. A pile of sticks. <laughs> <laughs> but there's another odd pile of sticks with an opening like this one right across from it. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I see it, yeah. Yep. Sure do. Um, right there. Too small to fit a big one. Not saying it's anything, yeah. but Maybe the kids were were playing were building a house, a little golf house. Or, or they were very little and mom was off. Mm -hmm. You know, hunting over here where there's a deer mm -hmm. feeder. And they can see, you know. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, and they could have 
So the other thing is, or, have yeah. you heard about the correlation between Bigfoot and twins? No. Mm -mm. I think I heard it from Matt Moneymaker, so we should check it out. But <laughs> 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 excuse me. Um, but who knows? Mm -hmm. I wonder if we dug through if we would find. So they might have twins too. Hair or poop? Yeah. I, I hear it's common in Bigfoot, but it's one of those things that I yell at people for mm -hmm. accepting that stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Cool with it. Without any substantiation. Yeah, I, I try to look around a lot of this stuff for hairs. Yeah. Just in case. You, might, you never know. You might find you never some. Know what you might find in there. But do you see it. why I say that looks constructed? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, kind yeah. of look constructed, mm -hmm. but now I see that one and I think, hmm. Mm hmm. And that's why, I mean, like when we're finding stuff like this, we're not claiming it's Bigfoot, but we're just showing what we're finding. Just showing right. what we're finding. Make, we find stuff that doesn't, to us, doesn't look natural, and we'll show what it. What do you mm -hmm. think, you know? Hmm. That was pretty cool when we went to the Everglades. We went mm -hmm. to the David Chili's Museum and yep. mm -hmm. then we went out hiking and um, that was pretty cool. We saw a baby bear, we saw a baby alligator, we saw hawks, deer. We saw, I, we, I, we counted like 12 different animals we saw that day. Yep. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And you got them on, well, most of them we got on. He filmed, we filmed them. Yeah, we filmed a lot of stuff. Yeah. But we didn't go mm -hmm. off trail. Yeah, it was too wet. It was too wet. and. Mm -hmm. Somebody that lives down there that's a friend of Marie said, don't go off trail. So we didn't. I, um, yeah, I haven't seen many animals this trip. Other than that yeah. possum mm -hmm. on the palm prawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounded like it was 800 pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess the family of deer, they were, we were coming, going down the road and they were just out in the road frolicking. On, and they were just... Playing looked like that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Back in January, when we were in Colt Creek, I saw two deer over to the side. So I got the thermal and started filming them. Mm -hmm. And I counted at least 24 deer out there in the field feeding. And they were feeding in an area that had just been burned. They had burned it that mm. day. They had just we, burned it. We got them on film out there in their trucks and stuff, burning it and doing a controlled burn. Hmm. And the deer were out there feeding in it. Yeah. And they were still there when we drove away. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that was that many there if I hadn't had the thermal camera. And it was. Um, Are there any any readings off of these things? You're not getting anything on you. Uh uh, no, I'm getting no, nothing. No, no, nothing moving. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of them. Is that a bush beer? It looks kind of old. She'll find some old bottles sometimes and she'll take them, keep them. Oh, I found them. And Connor uh, gave me some. I bought some from him. He had some old ones. They're still at my house. Um, oh, yeah. There's a bottle dump at the place I spent the night out in the swamp. Not too far from us. The hammock, that was interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God. Sir. See how heavy it is? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Water lines, hunting blinds, uh, protection from undulates. I'm trying to figure, you know? Yeah. Give these lines of. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you're taking a nap and there's deer running through the woods, do you want something to stop them from stepping on you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Good 
Have you ever seen these messing with you? Oh, here. No, I don't know. And nobody really knows where we are. We don't never go in any certain pattern or. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So nobody would know yeah. like to get ahead of us That's and do smart. anything. Yeah. yeah. I was always concerned about that. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll take a lot of film footage and then I'll spend a lot of time editing and putting a yeah, video together. Yeah, see that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come out with some fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and thanks for doing that, by the way. Yeah. It gets people, it gets people to look at stuff, you know? Yeah, it does, yeah. It's just to get them outside. Mm-hmm. Because we're missing a lot. Yeah, sure are. I found the stick that I thought was what was thrown. Oh, yeah. Yep. He says it's like the same size as the one that was, uh -huh. was thrown on him. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, let's watch that language. Excuse me. You know I'm kidding. <laughs> Hey, she used to be with me. I'm throwing the other Like I haven't heard that word. Ask him about me at home. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the truck, and the, the meter's still at 006, 002, 0 0.002, 0 0 0.003, 0 0.009. Very nominal. You should ask him if he wants to know. Is the it's on my okay. You know what? It looks alien, doesn't it? Yeah. That does, yeah. Weird. These are citrus trees right here. Small citrus trees. So this is the Stewart. This is called the Stewart murder site. Back in 1918. That's the house they lived in back then. They did a controlled burn back there behind it. And this young dude rides through town. They did a lot of controlled burns out here. That's all it took. Him and his friends killed his grandparents just for a six hundred dollar truck. Yeah. Yeah, but it was in 1917. Yeah. So it's still. Yeah. Fifty grand. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not rationalizing that. I'm just. But they hit away and. You see that cinder block or whatever? That's the actual grape The one with the little. On the other side. Oh. Behind the rock. Behind, you can see where they etched, like with a chisel or something to hear. I think the gate's open, right? Yeah, so you can go in. The one standing yeah. up. Yeah. Right? The one standing up? Yeah, the one standing up. Yeah, the one standing up. Yeah, the one standing up. Yeah, in here. Can I see the yeah, meter? One second. And this is just told, that's new, I don't know when they put that there, but that's the original. It's not doing anything right now. This went crazy when we went in the cabin last time. And when we were leaving. Yeah. Okay. 
Sorry. Go ahead, yeah. All right, so now um, we are at Stewart Homestead. Yeah. Murder, it says Stewart Murder House. The, the Stewart, Stewart Homestead. Murder House. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we got this, this uh, RF meter. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to see what goes on, what happens with it. Um, so right now, we're, we're at pretty much the baseline on that, right by the gravestone. The gravestone's here, though. Right, the gravestone's that thing? Yeah. It's monumental, isn't it? You can see up here where the edge is. On this side. Oh, on this side. Let's turn next. I, I'm looking everywhere but at the camera, and so okay. people just saw two things. Three hours, RIP, 1917. 1917. Anything on the meter? Nope. Mr. and Mrs. It didn't do anything last time, remember? No. Not here. Yeah, that's right. Do you think, are there still family members around? I'm just looking at this little thing left. I don't know. That's a good question. And, and there's a bottle. You notice that bottle there, I too. I know. Keep your eye off that bottle. Yeah. I know. What they, damn it. That's the tick. Is there? Yeah, the tick on my shirt. Okay. Ooh. Uh, I know they said, he said, don't you touch that bottle. I said, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> like, she wants that bottle badly. <laughs> Yeah, there's some huge trees out here. This, yeah, it's a pretty this, old. This mm -hmm. piece of board right here says their name too. That's old. Mm -hmm. So we had activity happen in the house and by our truck when we were moving. Now paranormal activity. Correct. Right? This is, yeah, the meter. Meter yeah, the meter, the meter activity. Yeah, yeah, it was going off really, really strong inside the house. Yeah. That tree is just crazy, right? Yeah, it is. It's really old. I mean. Yeah. 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 Okay, watch the meter now as we get close and go in, inside and see if it does anything. Great shelter for Bigfoot, though. Be a decent place to stop them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so the meter's not doing anything. 0 0.002 and 0 0.003 still. Just the baseline. It'd be fun to camp here. <laughs> That would be fun. Don't give them a stick mm -hmm. that I point at. No, that was a, I was making sure that wasn't a bee flying around. Like, yeah, there's all kinds of nests up here. Yep, this is it. Nothing on the meter? It's not no. Over here. Nothing on the meter. There's some ashes on the ground there. Yeah, they, they say the ashes from the mattress is actually still here. Well, that well, would, that would be mattress. rained in, but I'm looking at, at, this is like ash here. Yeah. So, so that I'm makes me think what somebody did. I wouldn't touch it. They had this wall here. They had mm -hmm. to tear it out to get them out and get them over there to the grave site. Yeah, I well, guess because they were probably, it had to do with the them being on the mattress probably. And yeah, drag the mattress out. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Them yeah. Out. Mm -hmm. That's the first questions so yeah, I'm just I'm curious about the ashes now all right let me ask you this while I'm here and will I get this thing running um, 
I was out with some people who were returning an object that they found in the swamp. Mm -hmm. um, do you find any stuff like that? This looked like it, it looked, I don't know, like voodoo or Santeria. Oh, I know, you're talking about the stick. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't, that looks like something else to me. Okay. Does not, it look, not paranormal. Not paranormal. Right. Like some kind of religion no. or? No. No. Okay. No, it just looks like, I can't, <laughs> I can't think of what it was. <clears throat> um, it looks like something was cut, and that's what it was. <coughs> I didn't think of it. It didn't look like something that was used for some kind of ritual. Number one, okay. I wouldn't have touched it if that was the case. Okay. And they did, right? Oh, so you got to see it? Yeah. I mean, on a video she had. It looks like a the Blair Witch, like a Blair Witch thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it looked like it was more not handmade. You think it was just a natural? I don't think it was natural. I think it's something else. Oh, okay. totally yeah. So that different. first time when we came here, okay. it was going off. It's I don't think it was paranormal. Anything. I think it was really good. Just fake. Yeah. If it's something you're me, working on, you don't have to tell me. It's hard for me, me to describe. It's okay. kind of like, let's just say you took a net. How do you like? And you cut a section out. How do you turn the noise on? Just for I want to turn the noise on. Oh, you have to open the back up. Oh, I. No. Okay. No. I don't you think it sure was. To me, it didn't look like it was man-made. It looked like. This is the last time we came it here. It ain't it's doing nothing. Is there another setting that's been that you can try? Out. Yeah, you can fl flip it to electrical or magnetic electrical. Just yeah. The last time, though, as soon as I stepped in here, but well, actually it started going off before. Really? But as soon as I but stepped I in, it went it crazy. Life. Yeah. But well, I, I had it on my backpack then. They kind of did something then, but I think up, it's right? just because I turned it. Yes. They picked it up. Yeah, that's electrical and that's magnetic electrical. You're on electrical. That's someone else's story. Yeah, and I'll just yeah, like that's magnetic luck. electrical. That's someone else's yeah, so it's not doing anything. Mm -hmm. right, so I'll put it back on the RF. Yeah. And nothing. And it's back to the baseline. Yeah, I don't think that was paranormal the first time we came in. I thought it was something close by. I think it was something close you by watching so? the yeah. Is it doing yeah. it again, or? It's no. not doing anything not on doing anything. anything. Just the baseline. Yeah. Going over here? Well, the thing is, on the ground that I've been filming for a while here, mm -hmm. looks like someone had a fire. Now, it doesn't look like a big enough fire for warmth. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Um, and it's maybe kind of. There against the wood. Oh, yeah, there's some more, too. More ashes over there. I'm just going in the corners too. But there's no, as you stand here over it, there's nothing registering? Mm -hmm. Okay. I went in the corners too, it's not doing anything. Just for the heck of it. Let's talk to it. Ask a question. Yeah, you're, you come on, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody here with us? Mr. and Mrs. Stewart, are you here with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're just here to say hi again. We've been here before. Can you, if you get near this meter thing, it'll spike. It'll tell us that when you're near. Can you come over to us and make this meter go off? It won't hurt you. Maybe we're up on the ground. Yeah. Well, okay, watch it. I, I was going to turn the sound on, but it's too difficult. Let's see. No. Okay, yeah, you can see it back there, can't you? Can you turn the sound on? You can, but you have to take it off and open the back. Okay. Yeah. Can we, yeah, what, yeah, let's put it from yeah. here. My name is Marie. What is your name? You want to talk to us? Tell us your story? We're sorry about what happened. This is when we need a recorder for EVPs. Yeah, do you, yeah. Do you, if you want to wait two minutes, I can run to the truck and get my audio recorder. Okay. You got right. yours on. Well, I got my audio recorder yeah, he's running. Got his on. My audio recorder's in my backpack running. 
but usually you put it. Yeah, it, is it alright if I run? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah. I'll be back in mm -hmm. two seconds. Well, okay. maybe three. three. <laughs> Stewart House. So, did the meter do anything when you turned the audio recorder on? No. no. Didn't do nothing at all? No, that's it. Okay. Mr. and Miss Stewart, mm -hmm. are you here with us? Would you like for us to come camping here sometime? <laughs> you come over to this little black thing. You can talk to us. And we'll be able to hear you, okay? So feel free to come over here. We're not here to hurt you. Um, feel free to chit-chat with us. Tell us your name. My name is Marie. What is yours? My name is Wynette. What is your name? Is Mr. and Mrs. Stewart here? You want to tell us your story? What happened to you? You can talk to us. We're not here to hurt you. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm Petrified. sorry. Fine. <laughs> so, no, why are you coughing? It's not going anywhere. I have no idea. Well, I do well, have some allergies, but... But... <clears throat> sometimes that happens. Okay. It's a, it's went up to four, but... Yeah, that's not much. Not much, no. It's not much no. of a difference. Yeah, we've had a couple times where Marie would get a headache. Yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah, around something like this. Paranormal activity is, mm -hmm. for me, it's a headache. Mm -hmm. It just comes real hard. Real sharp pains. Oh, there it is. It just spiked. It went to one. Oh, oh there it goes. goes. Now it's going. And I, I just got chills. I don't know if it's because that spiked or the breeze or mm -hmm. something else. Are you going to talk to us now? My name is Max, and that's my voice recorder on the ground with the red light on it. If you speak into that, we can't hear you now, but we can play it back. So if you have any messages for us or anyone else in the world for that matter, we'll try and get it to them. You can just speak into that. Now what were we talking about that it went off? Um, well, I was talking about this wood was made. This, well, I was Max was coughing, and you were, we were talking about you getting a headache. Coughing, and I was okay. talking about how strong this wood was right here. Because sometimes people who channel will do that. It spiked. Cough. It, it's cough. Got a headache. I, uh, I, I've had odd experiences in my life. So this wood is with what? tough. Tough wood. Channeling? Um. So yeah, I'm gonna say it on the damn channel. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I. Uh, there's places where I. Hear dead people. Okay. It's like your parents talk, listening to Johnny Carson in the next room, you know? And um, you can know it's a conversation, but I can't make out Correct. what it is. Right. Um, so, so um, sometimes your coughing is they're trying to talk to you, through you. Okay. I, I did once see a ghost at the Jared Coffin House on Nantucket. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, so, but that's the only one I've ever, ever seen. I have never saw anything, but I have felt and heard stuff in my house that we live in now. Mm -hmm. I just, I've just never seen anything. I've had something walk past me. Y'all seen a ghost two different times? And turn around and think that Tim just walked past me and he's not even in the house. Right. So it's just stopped now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Do you want to tell us something? Do you want us to go away? If so, if you come over here by this box, it'll just go crazy. Um, 
we should change this. You want to change it to EMF? Right now it's on RF. Yeah, it's on RF. Yeah, if we can change it to electrical or... Uh, yeah. I'd be really interested Which one do you to see. It reads electrical or magnetic electric. Okay, the next one. Electric, MAG, E, electric, and mag. See. Which one is it? Electric, we'll mag? Magnetic electric. Try, oh. try magnetic electric and then try electric. Okay, that's my, uh, it's just two different settings for each one. Right, okay, that's magnetic. Okay. Is that zero zero zero? zero, zero. Mm -hmm. You can switch right. it. I went through all of them a while ago too, and mm -hmm. it didn't do nothing. Okay. Standing right there, I was standing yeah. in front of that door thing, okay. and it it just didn't do nothing. Crazy, we're standing. And I don't I don't really know much yeah. about the EMF meters. I mean, I know this is detecting electrical, so I don't know what the actual EMF meters for for like ghost hunting. I don't know what mm -hmm. those do. Yeah, this is like really dead. <laughs> Excuse no pun Yes. When I switch it over to the next one. Yeah, I don't think that's the right setting. I'm not sure which one. Like I said, I put it on all of them earlier. And it still didn't do nothing. Yeah, they didn't do nothing at all. Yeah. We'll leave it there, and then I'll put it on the last one. Yeah, we've had. Wait, S still well, and then we'll put it on electric. We actually didn't put it on electric yet. We mostly just always use it on the RF. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to talk to us? Does your recorder, um, does that light stay on the whole time? I believe it does when it's on. But it, sometimes it is it is it going on and off? Uh, sometimes I think I see that. It, it's brand new, so I don't know. I replaced my old one just because this could attach to my computer and make it easier to listen back. Mm -hmm. That zero is blinking on there when I put it on. Where I got it on now? Yeah, we've had the most. Yeah, it's like zero zero one. But it keeps blinking. It's, you see it it's, blinking? Yeah, it's, it's fluctuating. Zero, zero to like zero four. It is fluctuating, mm -hmm. but not like the RF. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see it's, it's All right, bouncing let's, around. Let's uh, put it on the electric. That's the only thing we have to put it on yet. One. Electric, yeah. No, now it's off. Oh, yeah. Electric's beside the RF down beside the red one. We didn't put it on that one yet. Yeah, let's see what it does there. Zero. <laughs> just plain zero. Just flat line zero. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I'm just put that one on RF. Yeah. All right. So. So, here we are back at the RF. I want to buy a truck. Do you want to give me some money? Some of your money? I could really use a new truck. Do you have $500 I can have? 600 Or 600 We like your house. It's really sad that your grandson killed you for six hundred dollars. Are you picking up on anything? I'm really not. Mm -hmm. like I'm not I, getting I, I legitimately did get a chill when that started spiking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still pretty much baseline. Yeah. Now, you guys don't normally do this kind of thing. No, we usually just we don't. No, no we're big mostly big. Yeah. Big. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Research. Yeah. But since I have questions about this meter, mm -hmm. we came here. Yeah. And and I don't know if I recorded it or not, but we did have a line of conversation where I was trying to compare it to like the the 
uh, tri field meters on ghost hunters. Mm -hmm. So we're here. They're appeasing me. That's all they've done all day. Is I've had them jumping through hoops, mm -hmm. testing things, and right. Mm -hmm. So correct. In the course of that day, there was legitimate research being done. Yeah, like I mean, it. other than yeah. if you're not a believer in mm -hmm. the RF meter and all that. These folks are also looking for prints and structures and other Correct. sign in the woods. It's yeah. not. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not, not just all that. So this the the RF meter is just another layer of the research. Yeah, it so. is another scientific measurement. Okay. Yeah. That we're using. Yeah. The scientific yeah. tool. Yeah. Okay. That we're That's using why we're out there. Yeah, trying to use it for scientific, just like collecting hairs scientifically with gloves and putting them in paper envelopes and. When we find footprints, measuring them, documenting our measurements, the footprints, size, the stride, the step, just everything like right. adding this meter to our scientific stuff, yep. trying to so it's get just measurements. another tool. Okay. Yeah, it's like, okay, tool. we yeah. find all that. All right, let's see what but, the meter says. Mm -hmm. All right. You know? Yeah. Because anything else you can find yeah. or figure mm -hmm. out, you know? Yep. Yeah. Can't explain why. But it's happening. Yeah, on we're, occasion. we're trying to develop theories and then use the meter to help decide if that's the correct theory or if that's, that's what's really going on. Mm -hmm. That's Gut feeling on that? Like, like, did you guys think there's something to this? I mean, you wouldn't be doing it if you didn't, but. Correct. Do you think this is going to lead somewhere interesting? I don't know what it's going to lead to. It's just an interesting <laughs> yeah, find. It's hard to tell. I mean, yeah. I, I we think don't maybe know. it will. We okay. don't know. Right. Yeah. But by Could taking, the, by more taking we keep the data, it. you can understand it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. If there's a trend there, if there's not a trend. Okay. But yeah. by yeah. taking the data, it's really important. Right? Yeah. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other than not having it. So that's yeah. good. And logging it and documenting it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So. Exactly. And uh, like when our group member Mike is with us, when he's with us, we seem to get no readings at all on the meter. It's like maybe they're more in tune with him. Mm -hmm. And use him Whereas, to focus on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when he's not with us, then we get readings on the meter. It's like maybe they're watching us more, they're hitting us with the RF more. Uh -huh. But when he's with us, then they're not hitting us with it. We, we tend to be getting more of that. Okay. Does he have like... A sensitivity to oh, things? Yes. He does, and yes. if it's admitted and yes. he can t and he have can you been able to like document any of that? Well not I mean you can't it, you can't really verify it because it's a it feeling. happens and when he's out there with his yeah. son or his yeah. dog. It does, yep. yeah. You know, yeah. typically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he can pick up okay. yeah. on them. He's like, Yeah, I can tell they're right over mm -hmm. there, blah blah blah, I can sense it. Mm -hmm. Um so and he's I've, very sensitive that I've way. I've got stuff on video. That I can see it, he can see it, Mike can see it, but I don't know if other people can see it or not. Okay, do you have a, a sensitivity? I mean, you guys invited uh, I have a sensitivity, this tour. It's home yeah. for dinner. <laughs> mine's more of I think mine's more of a hunting sense. Okay. With my sixth sense, because when they're watching us, sometimes I can feel them, and then I can start pinpointing the direction that it's coming from. Mm -hmm. And I think that's more of a hunting from hunting and military. Okay. I've only had a feeling of uneasiness one time since we've been doing this. I have never felt like anything is watching us. I have never just nothing okay. except for that one time when we found this deer carcass. I, for about five minutes or so, I felt like I just had an uneasy feeling just mm -hmm. whooshed into me. And when we walked out, it was gone. That's the only time that anything like that ever happened to me out here. Interesting. But I, I, be, I believe there's something out there simply because of my experience when I was 13. Mm -hmm. and that was something walking beside our trainer. Okay. That was very heavy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a bear. I don't know what it was, but I, I, I'm, I can say with certainty that it wasn't a bear. Okay. <laughs> and we didn't have bears out there anyway. Right. So ever since then, I, I, I've just believed that there's something we don't know about that might be out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we don't know if this is related to Bigfoot at all, or if this is totally separate and it's a spiritual thing, you know, with Native American spirits mm -hmm. out here. It, 
I know. I yeah, because this whole area used to be the Seminole Indian Reservation. That's true. Okay. So there's a lot of history with the Indians here. And then there were other Indians here before the before they made this a reservation for the Seminoles. Mm -hmm. There was other groups of Indians. There was all kinds of different tribes of Indians all through Florida. Yeah. Yeah. For our history. Yeah. And we I don't think we talked about this on camera, but Ley lines you're trying to do more research on, you trying, don't have correct. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to find a map, a really detailed close-up map to see exactly where the line goes. If mm -hmm. it's through the green swamp, above it, I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to, I've been looking for maps. Okay. And, uh, some of the areas where we're finding a lot of tree structures and things like that, we're starting to map that out now too. Okay. With GPS coordinates mm -hmm. and, and the okay. maps. Yeah, and I saw you dropping pins earlier, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, latitudes and longitude lines. Yep. Okay. So we can see if they're in a row, if mm -hmm. there's a pet, you know, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Know, yeah. What? And just All knowing right. where the spots are, but nothing major. No. It's crazy that they just lived in this little bitty air area. This yeah. was their house. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh! Mm -hmm. I, I would. I've been living in. With a tree a in the tent. middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a seat. That was their seat. This was their seat. Great. Yeah, and that's right. That used to that be a seat. seat. Yeah. Yep. They, mm -hmm. Yep. How about that? I, I went on that site and read it. That's how I know this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is on GPS coordinates, too. If you look at the map of the Green Swamp, the mm -hmm. Green Swamp East, this is marked on there on the GPS coordinates oh, to yeah. the spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, the Stewart Homestead. Okay. Nice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna All right. turn this on. Okay. Yeah, huh? Oh, now she's going. There we go. Now it's not the truck, right? I don't think it would be the Well, we've, we've had it around the truck today, too, and it hadn't been doing anything. That's, that's true. Yeah. It is going up a little. Now it's back down. 47. Oh yeah, it moved a little, it's yeah. Moving. 58. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, point. Point 29, 28. The truck doesn't do anything with it because I've walked around the truck with it before. But, I've um, we've had it totally Friday spiked. Friday night to I like was testing it yeah. several times Full. with the truck, yeah. Full spiking. Yeah. Who's with us? Mrs. Stewart, Mr. Stewart, or the grandson? Sixty four, thirty six. Moving a little, yeah. What's ticking over there? It's it's so can yeah. yeah, but it's not going crazy like it was that, that last time. But, but it's still doing something. It seemed like when that was clicking, that was going on. Yeah, it's still. It's I, mean, going off I guess still, it's just 54. a truck. Something's trying. Yeah, it's still going. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Right. It's the most I've seen today, though. Mm-hmm. Well, the X structure had spike. Yeah, it did over there. Real That's right. Quick. Yeah. They were quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yeah, because when we get somewhere like this where we've had the meter before and nothing happens with it, then I, I wonder if there's something watching us that's close enough to make the meter go off. 
But you don't really know for well, sure? I don't know. Yeah. Have you at all felt like we've been what? No, I haven't felt it at all today. Not now either. No, no. Coming, coming back to the truck, um, we've all got cameras, we've all got phones. Yeah. Uh, not me. I is have it, nothing is it us on coming me. back together in this proximity, Mr. Engineer? I was just contemplating, are we getting some reflectiveness from our phones or something off the... Off now, the and again, stainless steel on the truck. Right, and again, in the ground, we have a magnetic field from the Earth. Mm -hmm. Any type of metal is going to change that magnetic field and how it moves. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so yeah. like when they drag that that uh, oh, I got the name of that device in the water, looking for cannons or, or treasure. Right, right, right. It changes that magnetic field. Mm -hmm. So you wonder if there's something here. However, you can see that it's pretty low right now. Yeah, we think that it would stabilize to some degree. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Interesting. I just don't know what to think. But he, here's the thing that I'm noticing, right? When I was out with Trail to Bigfoot, Chris Connor, mm -hmm. he told me, this is where it's going to happen, this is what's going to happen. And when we were back at that cabin, he said, listen, this is where it's going to happen, and this is what's going to happen. And that's been, so there is some kind, there's some predictability on that. There's some repetitiveness huh. to it. Mm -hmm. So. But I just don't think a big enough pattern yet to to base anything off. Of. Like we've got ideas. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I don't think we're even to the point of. Yeah, I think it's a new tool. A hypothesis. That people yeah. are starting to theory. use, so they don't understand it like yeah, us. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. We didn't even yeah. know about it until we saw Chris's. Yeah, so yeah. we're trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. What it could possibly be. But, uh, we didn't know there was such a thing. Did you hear about? What happened with Chris Connor and Chris Chris Reinhardt when they they were using the meter and uh, with Chris Chris Reinhardt's phone? Oh. Did you hear about? I told him some of it earlier, yeah. but not okay. all of it. Okay. I didn't tell him ha no, it half of it. Initials, right? Yeah. Just random. He was getting a bunch of initials being texted on his phone. Chris Reinhardt did. Right. So he thought it was just something, and he he deleted it. They got back to Chris Connor's house and it all came right it back came up. It came right back on his phone. Yep. And it was all the initials. He was kind of freaking out. All the Trail to Bigfoot's initials. I, I, you know what? I have to go back and watch that video and yeah. see if it's palindromic. He said it was trying to text me. Yeah, it was because, trying to text because him. It was trying to send a message to me. Last year, it's about a year ago, mm -hmm. now, when I met you and your phone went bizarre in the woods, that number was the same way forward as it was backward. Right. And that's... That's mm -hmm. a paranormal thing. Palindromic yeah, yeah. numbers are, are like quote unquote magical or hold energy or right. what have you. Mm -hmm. And that number on your phone did that. So I wonder. I would I would like to look back at, at those initials and see if there's any kind of pattern that holds. So yeah, it's not doing anything. So yeah, it hasn't done much in a while. Yeah. yeah. Well, on Chris's that? phone, I don't, uh, Chris uh, Connor, he might have told you this. His was doing that. It was printing out the same initials. like. No, that was Chris Reinhardt's phone. It was Chris Reinhardt's phone. Oh, it was, okay, it was Chris Reinhardt's phone. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting Chris Chris. So, But so they're like, what the heck does this mean? Mm -hmm. So they get, you know, Chris Reinhardt staying with them while he's here on vacation. They show it to Bayada, Chris Connor's wife. She says, it's our initials. Yeah. My initials. Your initials, mm -hmm. Betty's initials, mm -hmm. over and over. Yes. That's They're like, oh my God, you yeah, figured it, it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so when Chris and I went out in the woods, Chris Connor, drove to Bigfoot, he took me out, showed me the fridge. His phone kept doing random things, turning mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. you know, playing music, those kind of things. And Today's the last day of small game season. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a big gun for small game. A small game. Probably shotgun, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're allowed to use shotguns. Yeah, they? shotguns well, mainly what you use for small games. Yeah. 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 When is, when is small game over? Today. Today. Okay. Today's the last day. Yep. And then no more hunting for a while until turkey season. Turkey season's coming up in March here. In March. So March and April. Yep. So I want to start using the turkey call more too because of that. 
Yep. You think you think uh, Bigfoot will be hunting turkeys and come to you because yeah, well, yeah, because it's like you know, here's a free meal right here. Come get it. Well, you never know. And do the turkeys like run to a safe area where there's no hunting? What happens when that? No, there's 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 turkeys all around, different flocks all around. There's some out here that I've hunted here that every time I go in there, there's turkeys there. Mm -hmm. And they, they pretty much stay in one area. Yeah. Okay. So you can go in there and, like right now, it's starting their mating season, so the toms are going to be all fluffed up and stomping around. Mm -hmm. And they'll be staying in, in certain areas. Yeah. So it, I think doing the turkey call, it's going to be like, hey, there's a free meal right here. You know, so they can they know the turkey's going to be right there close by. Kind of like the Tommy guy, they saw that as a free meal. And they were hunting hogs. Though. Yeah, hogs. Yeah, yeah. So, and they got it. Mm -hmm. Some got it. Yeah, I've had two different times that I've shot a hog, and I know we we've killed it, and it was disappeared. Mm -hmm. And I like the one I shot with my bow. I knew it was dead. It went down. I heard it go down. I come back the next morning to find it, and it was nowhere to be found. And then I had another time with our hunting dogs. My hunting dogs, if if we shot a hog, or if the dogs caught it and it went down, they would stay there with it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And we had one time where we shot one, we knew we hit it, the dogs started trailing it, and the dogs got off of it and came back real quick. And it was like, you know, that, if that hog went down dead, which we knew it would have, the dogs wouldn't have came back that quick. And uh, we went over in that area and the dogs wouldn't, touch it wouldn't do nothing again mm -hmm. with the sin or nothing so I'm thinking now that probably that something was there that took the hog off yeah. of course there are there hunters that will do that too human hunters yeah there is but take, this happened too quick stuff. and yeah I'm just yeah. saying though the you dogs would have stayed around there. that hunter too for a little bit yeah yeah anything else no I think I think you got it. yeah I, I, good Learned a lot. Good, yeah. I hope so. Mm-hmm.